Okay, number three. This is the last part. I have the goat all sewn up, um, pulling the uh, mouth skin over its muzzle so I can work on the clay work around the lip. I have my fine roll of clay ready for the upper lip. I wish I could have the animal upside down, but it's quite difficult right now, so I'd, I'd rather work this way. Uh, the position of the animal is like, usually mountain goats have their head kind of like, you know, um, lower down. So unless you have a very high uh, stand in the shop to, to raise the whole animal, uh, unless you do that, otherwise you're going to have to go on your knees or sit down in a bucket or something like that. So anyway, the roll of clay is applied and uh, we applied the high paste as well as you saw. And then we're slowly tucking in the lip, uh, the lip skin. A small roll of clay for the lower lip before we tuck the lower lip skin. Okay, we push the nostril skins inside the nose as well. Okay, uh, a little bit more skin adjustment and alignment. Yeah, pushing some pins if you think it's needed to, to keep the skin tight against the walls inside the nostrils. It helps and then you can remove them later. Or you can just leave them in there and uh, so do your epoxy work right over them. It's up to you. Depends on the pin too. If the pin has a small head, you can just bury it underneath the epoxy. But if it's got a big head, you have to pull it out. We got some grocery bag plastic being pushed into the nose that keeps all the skin tight against the walls till they dry. I like plastic bags, I've mentioned it before because it, it has a tendency to expand and keep the skin pushed more toward the wall. Some people like to use, I've used paper towel and cotton and whatnot. They, they do work but I like plastic more because it's uh, when I pull them out they come straight out without getting sticky into any areas that need further cleaning. So more detail work on the eyes right now. You know you can see that the the mount is moving on me too much. I, uh, I have it on the floor on a bucket and I'm trying to go low as low as possible so I can work on the face because the face is kind of like looking down low a lot and uh, you got to go lower than that so you can look into the face eye to eye. If you want to look at it in its eyes straight you got to go, you either have to have it upside down or have it tilted 
to a point that you can work. So anyway, sometimes it's challenging. Okay, now we're working on the hooves. I uh, put a block of foam underneath them, make sure that they don't shift on me when they're drying because there's, there's a lot of clay in there. And I put a tape around it for the hooves so they don't separate when they dry. If these hooves are going on a sloped rock scenery later on, you're gonna have to have that in mind so you can keep that shape on the hooves when it's drying. But I knew that my rock is gonna have flat surface on top, so I wasn't too worried about that. Okay, now is the blow dry time. I uh, have this big, strong leaf blower that I usually use to take out the majority of the moisture and uh, fluff the mount up. And then I have my brush and um, basically my pet blower to finish the job. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video. There is not much for me to, to talk about. I hope you enjoyed the video and you could pick up some tips and hints here and there. If you like the video, please press that like button and also the subscribe button become uh, a supporter for this channel so we can keep producing these videos and please if you have any question in regards to any of the projects as you see uh, leave them in the comment area i answer every single question if you try to get a hold of me through email or other um, private methods i'm afraid i'm not going to be able to answer that because when i answer your question everybody can read it Otherwise, I'm going to have to answer every person, single person differently and uh, at a different time. So thanks again for watching and we'll be back soon, either next week or before then with a different video.